Hi everyone, welcome to Leafs Daily Digital. Danielle Manuel and Wayne Primo here with you and we are 24 hours away from game one as the Toronto Maple Leafs will be going toe to toe with the Tampa Bay Lightning. It was a historic season in many respects for the Toronto Maple Leafs, setting franchise records in wins, points, individual accolades. And what was their reward? A date with the back to back Stanley Cup champions who were looking to make history of their own. They could possibly become the first team to three peat since the New New York Islanders dynasties in the early 80s, but certainly the old adage applies. If you want to be the best, you have got to beat the best. So in terms of the Maple Leafs practice, one final preparation before game one will be going down at Scotiabank Arena. And while Michael Bunting is working his way back from an undisclosed injury sustained on April 23rd, he is doubtful for game one, but will likely appear at some point in this series, according to head coach Sheldon Keith. Now, Andre Kasha, who suffered a concussion on March 19th, has had to overcome a lot of adversity in order to get to this point, but he is poised to return to the lineup, and he'll be a welcomed addition on that second line with John Tavares and Ilya Mikheyev. Yeah, and you talk about bunting as well. I mean, it, it, obviously it's disappointing that, you know, he won't start the, the, the series, but at the same time, um, you know, it's, it gives the other other guys opportunities to step up. And as you mentioned, Kasha coming back from an injury, um, he was he was actually hot uh, when, he, when he, got, uh, he got injured. He had uh, tr three games in a row where he had scored consecutively and um, you know hopefully he can continue to bring that to, uh, to the Leafs second line. Yeah they call him a buzzsaw for a reason he's got that energy and tenacity on the forecheck that will be much needed in such a competitive series like this. Now on the back end it appears as though that Justin Hall will be the odd man out in favor of 23 year old Timothy Lilligren. A goal that he had set for himself leading into the, this campaign is that he wanted to be a mainstay on Toronto's blue line and Lo and behold, he gets rewarded and he's in the lineup. Yeah, so he's a, 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 one of the few players that hasn't played an NHL playoff game, but um, they have him paired with Mark Giordano, who will be uh, great for him. Uh, I'm sure that uh, he'll be talking on the bench, talking on the ice, and, um, you know, you have to start somewhere, and uh, no better time to start than against, uh, you know, back to back champions, uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Well, considering the fact that these are Atlantic Division foes well acquainted with one another, they have never met in the postseason, and it is all set to begin Monday night at Scotiabank Arena. It's going to be competitive, it's going to be fierce, it's going to be physical and laden with star power. We'll have Molson Canadian Lease Countdown coming your way at 6.30 p.m. as we lead you to Puck Drop, which is slated for 7.30.